Hello everyone, it's Holly. Um, I also have a Murphy cat here. Who knows if he's gonna stick around? Hopefully not, I kinda need like more space. And this big tote is what we're here to talk about today. I've wanted to do this video for a long time for like no particular reason and I keep putting it off because I'm like, well, I'm gonna buy more. <laughs> but like, let's face it, I have a problem. So these are my <laughs> ears. Okay, I just put, <laughs> I had a bunch in here anyways, and I just put more in here. No, they could be better organized. I didn't realize that there were this many. So, and a couple are in boxes. One just came um, over the weekend, and then another one I've just been keeping in the box because those cost a lot of money, so <laughs> I'm trying to protect them. So I'm not going to go in these over these in any particular order because... There's too many of them for me to organize. Although I do plan on hanging these, although I feel like especially now, hanging all of them is probably not gonna happen, but I'm redoing some stuff in my apartment and I'm gonna do one wall in my bedroom um, as all ears and bags. That's my plan, so we'll see. Um, I will link, uh, so the majority of these are from Shop Disney or like the Disney parks. But some are from small sellers and I will link either their Etsy shop or just their regular shop down in the description below if they are still operating. So yes, so let's just start with the boxes. Um, I think this one is the one I got this weekend. So this is from Gingerbread uh, Couture and I'm obsessed with her ears. Um, so I had to buy this. Also, I just bought like an ear holder from her. I do have an ear buddy from Sherry Godmother Designs who I'll also link below that I really enjoy. That one is like a snap and this one is like a pull, but you're supposed to be able to fit two ears in here. Um, and it's like a thumper themed print. I really want ears like this. Bless you. Um, but the ears I just got from her are these. They're so cute. So I hope you can tell. So it's like Star Wars themed, but it's like very cutesy. Um, I love the colors. It does have like coffee. I assume those are like coffee drinks or something, which I'm not a coffee drinker. So I typically avoid anything like that. But these are just adorable. And her ears are sewn in, which I really like as well. Um, actually, here, let's put these on for the video. So, and I feel like her, her ears are pretty reasonably priced and they always ship really fast. Like I ordered these, they shipped the next day. And then these ones are the like $80 ears that I bought and took like three months to come in, which I knew they were going to take a long time. So that's fine. And I'm like petrified. <laughs> Well, now you know why they're expensive. Um, so this is what they look like. And then they have in one of the ears an audio, um, which first of all, these, you don't, you didn't have to buy, buy them to be like audio, but like, how could I not? Um, and I think she just uses like the Build-A-Bear things. I'm a little worried because they're white, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, and she got very popular on TikTok. So these are heavy. So that is something you have to know. Um, I kind of wish the headband was a little thicker. Like this one feels a little heavier duty just because these are such heavy ears. Um, actually, I'm not sure I've ever put these on. Let's see. Yeah, they're not. Now, the nice thing about the headband is it's not very, like, oppressive. I do have kind of, I never thought I had a big head until I started wearing mini ears. But now I feel like I have a big head because I do feel constricted a lot. Especially if I'm wearing sunglasses because I wear my sunglasses over my glasses. And then <laughs> it's a lot of pressure right behind my ears. But these are very cute. She did have Fantasmic ones as well, which I really wanted, but I couldn't justify. Um, this is from Fitting Pieces & Co. 
and hopefully she'll sell these again so I can buy the fantastic ones but yes they play happily ever after so and we're going to an enchantment dessert party and I plan on wearing those <laughs> so but they were expensive but they're they are nice quality I'm probably gonna be petrified they're gonna fall off my head but that's fine um next is another I think her shop is still on vacation and I can't remember the name of it. These are another pair of sewn in ears. I got these on Etsy. They are so comfortable. I really want her to come back. I hope she's not done making ears because these were amazing. Um, they're like a rainbowy spaceship earth. So comfortable, so secure. They feel very like well made and like they're not gonna fall apart. Totally worth it. Also covered in cat hair <laughs> and the price was not bad at all. Now the problem is I have to figure out where to put all the ears as I take them out. Um, next, ooh, one of my favorites um, is Clearly Magic. She was like the first one to do the clear ears. So I have these Hercules inspired ones. So they have Megara and Herc and then my main man Pegasus in the middle. Um, so cute, I love these. She has some ears that you can customize. And then some that are just like how she does them and these are just like foam pieces so they're pretty light on your head which is nice i'm gonna set this over here because i'm always worried pegasus is gonna oh sir are you sick you got the sneezes oh a disney pair i haven't taken these off the tag off yet um these i don't know like what color <laughs> like what are these but I really like this bow is very aggressively large, but I like it. I kind of wish it was a little more like maybe I'll see if I can like tack it down or something. I don't know. Um, and it's just a solid color on the ears, but it's like patterned, which I really like. And these are from Disney. And I typically take these, the smaller tags I would leave on, but this is too annoying. So this, what I do is I cut it pretty close. And then I take a lighter and I uh, just like singe the edges and that usually seals any fraying in so that they don't fray. Yeah, that's what I did with these, which these are the like tropical-y summer ones from last year. Am I creating like, oh, it's probably these ears. He's like looking at something and it's usually a light reflection. Um, and they say, hello, summer. They're very cute. I never know which way you're supposed to wear them. I always go with this way, but I don't know. Oh, I should take those on my cruise. Next is these like crazy elaborate ones, um, which these ones light up. Um, and they come with like a charging cable. <laughs> So, yes, and again, these are lighter, and I super appreciate, light, lighter in color, I appreciate Disney doing um, a sparkly headband, but not sequins, because I complain about sequins all the time, because they get stuck in my hair. So, a lot of times I won't buy ears if they have sequins on the edge, like these that I did buy. I did buy the iridescent ones on my last trip, and this... It just gets stuck in my hair. It's so annoying. And then explain this to me. These are new ears, but they have the normal tag. I don't understand the tag situation. These ones are pass holder ears. I think I got these on my last trip. I feel like this is a very interesting color combination, but I like it. I also like this color blue. Um, and oh, bless you. And then they just say Walt Disney World on the side. Oh, these are another Etsy pair. They are Chewbacca. These were, um, I think they were pretty comfortable wearing them. I was a little worried because I didn't know, like, if, like, the fur or something would feel funny. But they didn't at all. I do like them. And I think those were pretty well priced, too. Then I have these. I think these were spirit jersey. Yeah, these are spirit jersey. Um... I haven't burned this tag yet, um, but they are like an ugly Christmas sweater. And these, I'm not a huge fan of ears without the bow, but I do like that you can kind of wear them either way and it doesn't really make a difference. Next, oh my gosh, I had to buy these. 
are these they're super heavy I'm not gonna lie <laughs> they're kind of hard to wear um but totally worth it they are Cinderella's pink dress which that's like one of my the mice making that dress and stuff like redoing it is like one of my favorite things and this is like legit a like measuring tape and then on the back it says have courage and be kind and I had to buy this because I have a bag that matches it so of course I'm gonna set these aside too because I'm always these I feel like are so detailed those are from Etsy I will link that shop below as well I think it's mini me or something like that I can't remember um these Disney ones, I'm not always a fan of the like non-traditional style, but I had to get the Remy ones. They are pretty cute. Um, these are last year's Food and Wine Festival, right? Yep, Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2021. They're very cute and I'm not a wine drinker, so I also tend to avoid anything that has like alcohol related things. Um, but the little apple orchard collection really called to me and I love a good like satiny feel ever since a kid I've like obsessed with it so speaking of you have the original Riviera ears I know there are a new there's a new pattern and I would love to get them maybe someday um but I do think these are very cute as well I bought these the first time I went to Riviera and I just love them. They are so pretty. And again, it's like a satiny bow. And shout out Disney not doing the uh, sequins on the headband. I wish they would do more ears for more hotels. I would buy them. Next, these are another pair from Gingerbread Couture. They are floating lanterns. Again, sewn in, so adorable. Her ears, her, the, uh, ears are very squishy, like very plump, if that's something that matters to you. Ooh, I wasn't sure about these when I bought them, but I am like obsessed now, is these black 50th ones. I'm not really a gold person. She says, holding, wearing a headband with gold and more gold. Um, but I think it's very cute and it is 50th, like that's what's embossed on the black fabric but it's pretty subtle. I like it. It's like a classy nighttime ear, you know? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I just got these in the mail. Um, again, super excited because normally I feel like Disney would have done these in a sequin headband. I feel like they're listening to me, um, but I love, I never got the purple potion ears, which I'm still like sad about, <laughs> but so I feel like this is a nice consolation. <laughs> For me now I would prefer to buy my ears in person so that I can like pick out one that's like very well made um, from Disney because sometimes they have issues but you just can't risk them not being there so when you see something online you gotta go for it so these are one pair of Haunted Mansion ears that I own again a very large bow poofy bow and it is the like um wallpaper in the Haunted Mansion. I think these are very nice. Oh, my bow got a little... It's fine. Oh, another clearly a magic pair. We have these figment inspired ones. So cute. Oh, one thing about her ears is she does put like a like comb thing on the headband at the top. I don't really care either way, but in case that's something that matters to you, I feel like I'm going to need to start spreading out where I'm putting these. Ooh, these are a newer pair as well. I saw these online and had to buy them. So these are really Disneyland ears. Um, I mean, I feel like you could wear them anywhere, but like this is definitely Disneyland. And I'm hoping to make a trip hopefully next year. I don't know though. It's looking like that might not happen. And to buy them. This has two long things. I don't know. Whoever is in charge of CVS receipts is now in, front, in charge of Disney name tags. Our um, <laughs> things. So these ones, these like these were out at Christmas this past year, and I think that they're very. I haven't worn them yet. Um, but I like them. They're very. They do have like a wintry vibe, 
but you could totally wear them whenever. A little bit of spark, little, little spark, a little bit of subtle gray. Very nice. You know, I like the solid color ears. I appreciate the choice. Oh my gosh, I've had these for years. Um, I think I got these at the Villains After Hours party. This might have been my first pair of ears that were not a traditional pair of mini ears. And I like never wear them because I'm always afraid I'm going to like ruin them. Um, but Maleficent is a queen and an icon and like my favorite character. So next is, oh, I went back and forth on these for years because I really wanted them because I think that they are a gorgeous color. Perfect for Christmas. Perfect any time of year. Honestly, right now I'm filming right before St. Patrick's Day, but the sequins on the headband. So I kept not doing it. And then I think in 2020, I was like, I'm going to do it. I want them. And then I couldn't find them. <laughs> and then in 2021, I was able to pick them up. So I'm glad I finally did it. I know I'll complain about my hair getting stuck, but I'm happy to have them. How many years? Oh my God. Y'all, I have a problem. So these are the Encanto ears. Um, I actually bought these before I even saw the movie because I saw them online and I was like, well, I need to buy them because what if I want them? I like that it's different. Like the style and the way they made them is different. It's very cute. Oh, I forgot I had these. I'm, I've just like finalized my outfits for my next trip. And now I kind of want to wish I could justify bringing these. Hmm. Perhaps we'll have to reassess. Are these, they are just like kind of a traditional ear, but like a pink and white polka dot. Again, the sequins, but it's still a cute color combo. So these are my original ears. I bought these, I believe, in 2013. Um, the first time I went back after having not gone since I was in high school. Um, I don't wear these like ever anymore. And again, sequins, but you gotta have a traditional mini ear, you know? Um, oh, you got a figment flower food and wine festival and they are date. So th this is from 2017. It says can hair on it. <laughs> um, these are very cute. These I have in a bag because they smell. I did buy the popcorn ears and they smell kind of like popcorn. So these are lounge fly and they have like popcorn in the ears. It's cute. I really was undecided on them when I purchased them and I was like, but I don't want to risk like not being able to get them. Next to another lounge fly pair. We have these like parks collection. It's just like different like cutesy park characters again I really like blue I also have a lounge fly that matches this these are my first clearly magic ears ever um these are just like traditional ones I think I just told her to do like whatever colors and stuff on the inside she wanted I don't know what my cat is doing but they are very cute we're almost done my second pair of haunted mansion ones these are like the parasol girl which is like one of my favorite things in haunted mansion so of course i had to buy ears and then these are from etsy i think the shop is called flip stitch repeat um but i they are Splash Mountain themed and you can customize these a little bit. They are a little heavy because they're so full, but I feel like they do sit fairly well on the head. Like they feel heavy in your hand, but pretty comfortable on your head. Ooh, see, these are ones that I wish I had been able to buy in person because, which you can find them everywhere, but I wasn't sure at the time. So I bought them online because my one bow is always funky. I should probably like tack that up and I think that will help. Um, but these like Mulan inspired ones, very pretty. Where am I? Oh, I did get the Chinese New Year ones this year, but I don't know where they are. I also have Rapunzel ears that I wore on my last trip that apparently I don't know where those are either because they're not in here. 
So, that's cool. Um, but I have these aerial ones. I like this sequin like style. I mean, it's great for the fish scales, but I do like that in general. I like that better than the regular sequins. And then there's like a dingle hopper. And again, no sequins on the headband. Ooh. Oh, another traditional color. These ones give me daisy vibes, right? Like other people agree with me, daisy, but sequins on the headband. And then I have two more, which are um, sequin headbands, of course. But I have these like Americana, that's what I'm calling them, ears. I think these were on sale when I bought them um, a couple trips ago. And I thought they would be fun. I actually bought them thinking that maybe I would take the bow off so I could have a red ear to go with my green ears. But I actually do kind of like this. I don't know. Undecided. And then my last ones are these like cheetah print ears. As I get older, I get more into animal prints. I don't know. Anyways. But yeah, so I do have two more pairs, but I apparently don't know where they are. And I'm sure I go on a trip at the end of the month and I will be buying more, I'm sure. But this is my elaborate, unnecessary ear collection. If I actually have it in me to count them, I will count how many I have and put the total on the screen. I'm a little embarrassed to know. I mean, this collection is almost 10 years in the making, but a lot of it has been bought in the last two years, so I'm not like kidding myself. Um, but yes, yeah, so those are my mini ear collections. I do kind of wish I had more small shops. And now that I have more money and more ability to kind of spend and support small shops, I do plan on doing that. Um, because I think a lot of times they have more creative ideas, to be completely honest. I have a problem. Okay. That's my ear collection. Please don't judge me too much. I'm sure Molly from All Ears has more than me. So that's great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.